Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors. God bless you on this Thursday, November 2nd. Thank you again for joining with me in our time of prayer. Let's get right into it today. So our Bible reading today is Titus chapter 3. How about these four verses, verses 4 on? But when the kindness and the love of God our Savior towards man appeared, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us through the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Spirit. Watch, it gets better. Whom he poured out on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior, that having been justified just as if we've never sinned, by his grace we should become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. woo We are going to live forever in a perfect world, church family. It's going to be good. Amen. All right, our state that we're praying for today is Hawaii. Hawaii is about one and a half million people, 25% evangelical Christians. Our prayer focus is going to be families and marriages today. And boy, they need that. Amen. And we're going to have a, a special prayer for Bosnia and Herzegovina. There you go, right there. And of course, for what's going on in Israel. Last I checked, it was about 13 of their soldiers have been killed now. Things are heating up. And the United States reading in Epic Times yesterday is thinking this is going to start spreading. So let's keep it in prayer. Let's hold it down as we await the return of the Lord. Keep looking up. Our redemption is drawing nigh. Let's pray. Precious Father, we come before you in Jesus' name. And in, we're living in a world gone crazy. And there's always been craziness since the fall of Adam and Eve. But boy, I've never seen a convergence like this, Father. So we give you all the praise and the honor that's due your name. It's not you that brings war. It's not you that brings destruction. But these things are in our world because of the fallen one, Satan. Lord, how we love you today. You are, as my message on Sunday will be, majesty, majestic, awesome. <laughs> you are a great God, and we look forward to what we just read. This is the promise that he has promised us, eternal life. Oh, we look forward to it, Lord. Lord, we begin today by praying for our nation, Lord. Lord, we need help. We need help bad. When I saw how many people are just pouring into this country with no background checks and all, what's going on? If this isn't planned, I don't know what is. This is just mine boggling, Lord. How many terrorists are now in our own nation? We don't know. We pray, Father. We pray for our protection. We pray over our home, over our children, over our work, over our area, over our church, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. We lift up the state of Hawaii as our focus state, Lord, and we just pray for the people there, Lord, your blessings. And 25% evangelical Christians, I pray, Father, that they could have great revivals there before that trumpet sounds, that many would come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And I thank you. Thank you for that, Father. And thank you, Father, we lift up our state of New Jersey, where we live and where anyone else lives, Lord. We pray for our areas. We pray for what you're doing. We pray over our prayer focus today. We lift up families and marriages before you. Lord, when we hear that there's just as many divorce in the church than outside the church, something's not right. Something's not right here, Lord. Father, I pray for marriages. I pray that people would just want to do it right and work it out and and, you know, I know not everyone is going to work. I'm not blind, but there are many that could work if they'll just give a little extra effort to, to, the, to love. Love is not touchy, fretful, resentful. It takes no account of the evil done to it. It pays no attention to a suffered wrong. Love doesn't believe the worst of people, believes the best of people. 
Anyway, Father, I lift up marriages. I pray for families. Lord, how it hurts children. Lord, when I see these, these people on drugs or OD and or, or whatever, these were little children. This were the love of a father or a mother or a both of them. These were their little children, Lord. I pray for marriage as I pray for the families, Lord. Strengthen the families, help the families. And I thank you. Thank you for that, Father, that we could pray. We join forces. How many of these prayer cards today are for families and marriages, Lord? We lift it up. And while I have the prayer cards, we pray over these, Lord. I just thank you right now, Father, for needs being met in Jesus' name. I thank you for healings. I thank you for well-being. I thank you that you're a good God. Hallelujah. And you are meeting the needs of so many people. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. You're a God that answers prayer. By your grace, you have given us so much. And by faith, we receive it, Lord. We thank you for our healings and our well-being, Lord. Thank you in Jesus' name. Now, Father, we lift up the nation of Israel, Lord. They didn't start this war and... The destruction that we're seeing in Gaza is just mind-boggling, Lord. We pray, I pray for the people of Israel to be protected. Lord, as Yemen now said that they're in war with Israel, as others are saying they're going to be getting in, and oh Lord, protect them. I believe right now five different nations are coming against them. But I thank you, Lord, that right now the United States and many Western nations are still supplying them with things and helping them, Lord. But there's going to come a day when not even that will happen and the God of Israel is going to show himself strong in a mighty way to this world. So we pray for Israel. We pray, Father, for the needs that are there. We pray for the soldiers. Lord, we don't want this to be a long war that it brings more nations in, but as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said, this is their second war of independence. They're not backing down. When I hear that they put a baby in an oven and cooked the baby alive, when I saw pictures of the bones and fragments that are left of people that they can barely find who these people are from the what Hamas did when they came in that day, October 7th. Oh my, how cruel, how cruel, how cruel. Oh, Lord, we pray for Israel today. Lord, we lift up our world before you, Father, and I lift up the nations on our chart today. Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Bermuda, Bahamas, Turk and Calicos Island, Cuba, Lord, and we pray. We pray for these areas, Lord. We pray for the people of these areas, Father. Lord, even in Cuba, 11% evangelical Christians, you got us everywhere, Lord, and I thank you for helping these people. We lift up the different organizations that are doing works around our world. Alpha, Ambassador Fellowship, America Praise, America's ba Baptist International Ministries, American Bible Society, AMG International, Antioch Center for Training and Sending. We lift these up before you. We lift up Christian Faith Fellowship Church that while we're here, that we can do even more for the kingdom of God. Give us wisdom. Help us, Lord, to know exactly what you want us to do, Lord. We lift up every church that's preaching the gospel. Strengthen them, Lord. Give them wisdom in the vision that you've given them. In Jesus' name. Now, Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters, your blessing upon them and their household. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his confidence upon you and give you his shalom, shalom. Now, Lord, we bless you and honor you and thank you for another day. We are looking up. We're living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled and all of that, you're majestic and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Woohoo! God is good. Have an awesome Thursday. 
Hopefully I'll see you up there. If I don't see you up there, I'll see you here tomorrow. God bless.